talk about the nomads, the RVers, or like I call them, our wheeled wonders that are on YouTube. Now I got nothing against our little wheeled wonders and their nomadic lifestyle. I mean, it intrigues me. I'm interested in it. That's why I watch all these people. But let's face it. When you got nothing to do and all day to do it, how much interesting content can you have to be posting a video every single day? Now don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about everybody. I mean, you got people that uh, work remotely. That's why internet connection is so important to them. And they spend a lot of money on all kinds of gadgets to grab signals and antennas and boosters and stuff inside their RV to make a giant hot spot. And they even spend money on Verizon, Sprint, and at and all so they can have connection no matter where they are. And you got the work campers, the ones that work uh, the national parks. They'll work at... Uh, carnivals uh, they'll actually work at campgrounds and they go and they travel around they do the sugar beet harvest and all that I'm not talking about those folks I'm talking about the ones that are youtubers that rely strictly on YouTube now the ones that actually work so remotely or whether they do work camping or anything but they have an income YouTube is extra money and I'm sure it's good money and it helps out a lot but if YouTube went down and they lost their YouTube income they would still have income and they could still survive now the ones that I'm talking about are the ones that are YouTube dependent the ones that rely on the patreon the donations their sticker sales their all their little merch that they sell and AdSense if YouTube would be shut down or they lost everything from YouTube they would be just that lost now that's their decision and that's okay with me I'm that's really not the point of the video the point of this video is like I said you have nothing to do and all day to do it Sure, you exchanged mowing the lawn for emptying your shit tank out of the tube. And we all do laundry. We all have to go to the grocery store. So we all do that normal stuff. But the rest of the day, when you have nothing to do except make YouTube videos. Now, yes, it does take some time. But to be posting a video every day just so you can post a video every day and get people to watch you so you can get your ad revenue just how many times can we look at the Grand Canyon or some desert in Arizona I mean how interesting do you think your life is that every day you can post a video of either nothing or the same thing you did six months ago and then if you are like me and you watch several of these RV channels you get certain times of the year when they're all in the same space doing the same videos about the same thing and then summertime wintertime the transition and people go different ways some folks go home some folks go south in the winter and in the summertime they kind of travel around but it's always the same places the same videos just different people's perspective so again to be posting a video every day just so you can say you posted a video with zero content boring content why if you don't have nothing new and exciting to say don't post that day oh but you can't you have to post a video because you have to be that daily vlogger. Yeah, remember last year when I was at the Grand Canyon? I'm at the Grand Canyon again. There it is. Didn't change. Remember last year when a whole bunch of us got together in the desert in Arizona? Guess what? I'm back to the desert in Arizona. So I guess the big point is if you're an RVer, yeah, your life is a little bit interesting. And a little bit out of the ordinary but not every day 
like I said, you have nothing to do and all day to do it. Yeah, you're walking around and you're seeing the sights, but you can only do that so much, so many times, so many years in a row going to the same thing, to the same places. And just for the sake of posting a video, because you're so reliant on AdSense and your donations from your patrons that you have to be on YouTube every single day, whether you have something to say or not, you need to stop. If you went somewhere new and you see a new exciting site, fine. Post a video. If your shitter blows up and you're fixing it, fine. Show us how you fixed it. But, yeah. Sitting around drinking a beer again? Ten minutes of you driving with a camera pointing out your windshield? Again? You don't have to post every day if you got nothing to say. So there you go. That's what I think of our little wheeled wonders. The ones that post every day religiously, whether they have something to say or not, just so they can get some more AdSense, because without YouTube, they wither away and die. Agree with me or not? That's for you to decide. But, as always, this is Blind Views, and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.